when I see one of these signs for the Recovery Act, I should also see people in hard hats building shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Now, this is, I'm truly mad at this. <laughs> Dig a hole and fill it up with dead bodies. I don't care. I am just getting so tired of passing these randomly placed signs while the gaping potholes shake the fillings out of my skull. <laughs> it's this kind of crap that makes me want to join the tea party. But then I remember, I have a high school diploma, a functioning... <laughs> <laughs> a functioning penis and a black friend. <laughs> New rule, you can't French kiss over the internet. A Japanese company has developed a gadget that lets you deep kiss someone via computer. Ew. See, you stick this thing in your mouth, and the person you're chatting with sticks the same gizmo in their mouth. <laughs> and then when you get good and horny, you stick your dick in this gizmo. <laughs> New rule. <laughs> the next, the next, the, the. <laughs> I don't even need to say. <laughs> New rule. The next task force on drugs has to figure out what makes Republican women make this face. I. I don't know if Newt should run for president or just. You know, run. <laughs> New rule, stop saying we got Osama. We didn't do anything. We were watching Celebrity Apprentice and eating Funyuns in our sweatpants. <laughs> SEAL Team 6 did the killing with money we borrowed from Beijing oh. that our grandchildren will have to pay back. Yeah. So it was a joint Navy SEALs, People's Bank of China, grandchildren <laughs> operation. <laughs> New rule, the White House doesn't have to release the dead bin Laden photos, but don't pretend that we can't take it. We handled pictures of Britney Spears' vagina getting out of a car. <laughs> Come on, television has desensitized us to violence, and porn has desensitized us to people getting shot in the eye. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> New rule. <laughs> New rule, the Pentagon must apologize to Native Americans for giving such a universally reviled character as Osama bin Laden the code name Geronimo. I'd admit they should have gone with their second choice, the Donald. <laughs> New rule, conspiracy theorists who are claiming that we didn't really kill Bin Laden must be reminded that they didn't think he did the crime in the first place. <laughs> Come on, nut jobs, keep your bullshit straight. <laughs> the towers were brought down in a controlled demolition by George W. Bush to distract attention from Hawaii, where CIA operatives were planting phony birth records <laughs> so that a Kenyan named Obama could someday rise to power and pretend to take out the guy we pretended took out the tower. <laughs> and I... <laughs> And I know that's true because I just got it in an email from Trump. <laughs> New rule, if your organization's job is to talk to the government about guns, when the president invites you to talk about guns, go. This week, Obama invited the NRA to the White House and their CEO said, no, why should the NRA sit down with people that have spent a lifetime trying to destroy the Second Amendment? Here's why, dumbass McBangBang. Bang. <laughs> Because talking is how grown-ups resolve differences. It's our version of shooting. <laughs> New rule, if you're paying less than a buck for a taco, you can't be shocked that the meat in it isn't really meat. Your meal costs less than gum.
There's a reason taco spelled backwards is oh cat. <laughs> New rule, stop making horror movies with Anthony Hopkins. I'm not afraid of any evil I can evade by taking the stairs two at a time. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins was a great young Shakespearean actor. Just ask Shakespeare. But if I wanted a movie where an 80-year-old made my blood run cold, I'd rent Sex in the City, too. <laughs> and finally, new rule, with the Super Bowl only a week away, Americans must realize what makes NFL football so great. Socialism. That's right, the NFL takes money from the rich teams and gives it to the poorer ones, just like President Obama wants to do with his secret army of acorn volunteers. <laughs> Green Bay, Wisconsin, has a population of 100,000, yet this sleepy little town on the banks of the fuck if I know River <laughs> has just as much of a chance of making it to the Super Bowl as the New York Jets, who next year need to just shut the hell up and play. <laughs> now... <laughs> Me, personally, I haven't watched the Super Bowl since 2004 when Janet Jackson's nipple popped out during halftime and that split-second glimpse of an unrestrained black titty burned my eyes. <laughs> and offended me as a Christian. <laughs> but I get it. Who doesn't love the spectacle of juiced-up millionaires giving each other brain damage? <laughs> on a giant flat-screen TV with a picture so real it feels like Ben Roethlisberger is in your living room, grabbing your sister. <laughs> so it's no surprise that some 100 million Americans will watch the Super Bowl next week. That's 40 million more than go to church on Christmas. Suck on that, Jesus. <laughs> it's also... 85 million more than watch the last game of the World Series. And in that is an economic lesson for America. Because football is built on an economic model of fairness and opportunity. And baseball is built on a model where the rich always win and the poor usually have no chance. The World Series is like the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. You have to be a rich bitch just to play. <laughs> Whereas the Super Bowl is like Tila Tequila. Anyone can get in. <laughs> or to put it another way, football is more like the democratic philosophy. Democrats don't want to eliminate capitalism or competition, but they would like it if some kids didn't have to go to a crummy school in a rotten neighborhood, while others get to go to a great school, and their dad gets them into Harvard. Because when that happens, achieving the American dream is easy for some and just a fantasy for others. That's why the NFL literally shares the wealth. TV is their biggest source of revenue, and they put it all in a big commie pot and split it 32 ways. Because they don't want anyone to fall too far behind. That's why the team that wins the Super Bowl in the next draft picks last or what the Republicans would call punishing success. <laughs> baseball, baseball on the other hand, is exactly like the Republicans. And I don't just mean it's incredibly boring. <laughs> I mean their economic theory is every man for himself. The small market Pittsburgh Steelers go to the Super Bowl more than anybody. But the Pittsburgh Pirates? <laughs> Levi Johnston has sperm that will not grow up and live long enough to see the Pirates in a World Series. <laughs> Their payroll is 40 million. The Yankees is 206 million. The Pirates have about as much chance as getting to the playoffs as a poor black teenager from Newark has of becoming the CEO of Halliburton. That's why people stop going to pirate games in May. Because if you're not in the game, you become indifferent to the fate of the game. 
and may, maybe even get bitter. That's what's happening to the middle class in America. It's... It's also how Marie Antoinette lost her head. <laughs> so you kind of have to laugh that the same angry white males who hate Obama because he's redistributing wealth just love football, a sport that succeeds because it does just that. To them, the NFL is American as hot dog, Chevrolet, apple pie, and a second giant helping of apple pie. <laughs> but then again, they think they're macho because their sport is football. When honestly, is there anything gayer than wearing another man's shirt?